for projects that use JVM platform, Maven or Gradle as a build tool and Git as a version control system, JGitware set of library and plugins provides Git-driven automatic versioning for a project without the need to modify POM XML or build Gradle project descriptors. Instead of modifying the version of your project in your POM XML or build Gradle files, JGit would be a look at Git history of your project, tags, commits and branches and from there it will automatically compute the version of your project. Why would you want to do that? What's the problem with changing the version in your project descriptor? One of the problems is the moment you are ready to release and know your project version. And to demonstrate, let's look at how typical development cycle looks like. After we are satisfied with new feature set, we create a deployable and promote it through environments where we test whether our new app version satisfy requirements needed for release. Only if it does are we ready to release a new version. Notice, we didn't know that when we created our artifact. So, instead of just releasing the artifact we were testing, we would need to change the source code again, POM XML or build Gradle, to change the version and the fact to create a new version of the artifact and create a new git commit just to up the version. This creates git history pollution and, frankly, unwanted regression. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have an app version 1.0.0 released and we continue working on our features on what we designate should be a version of 2.0.0. But we get a bug reported on our version 1 release. We create a bug fix branch and patch the bug in patch 1.0.1. Since our version 2 has the baseline of version 1, we need to integrate the bug fix back to our main branch as well. What happens when we do? Let's go to the example project that has one git commit in which the version in POM XML is 1.0.0. If we run git log command, we'll see we have one commit with message version 1.0.0. Let's add a dummy change to simulate working on a new version and up the version in our POM XML. We'll add all the changes and commit a new version. We'll call this version 2.0.0. We now have two commits in our history. Let's suppose a version 1 has a bug reported on it and we need to create a new branch where we patch it. So we'll create a new branch, call it bf1 for bug fix and it will be based on our version 1. Let's create some dummy change to simulate the patching, so we'll echo bf1 to bf1 text and we'll up the version to patch it so it will be 1.0.1 let's add all the changes and commit so let's check out our master branch and try to merge our bug fix And we have a merge conflict in our POM XML because we've changed our versions in both branches. So we saw in this example that changing versions in project descriptor files can cause merge conflicts with version collisions. JGitWare tries to address project versioning issues and it's a set of library and plugins that uses git history, git tags and git branches as a way to calculate the version automatically. It can be used both for Maven and for Gradle, and for Gradle it's as simple as adding it as a plugin, and for Maven it's a Maven co-extension where we declare in extensions XML file of the Maven project that we want to use the JGitWare plugin. This is the example of Maven project that uses JGitWare plugin. In .maven directory we've created extensions XML file and declared we want to use the JGitWare Maven plugin. This is the example of Gradle project that uses JGit for plugin. In a build.gradle file we declared a new plugin for JGitWare and this automatically provides us with a new task version which we can run to calculate the project version. Let's repeat the example where we had version collision in our Maven project. If we run git log we'll see that we only have one initial commit and if we see the content of the POM XML we'll see that the version is 0.0.1 snapshot. 
The interesting thing happens if we run Maven validate to see the project information. We'll see that it uses JGit from Maven plugin, and the JGit from Maven plugin is about to change project version. From 0.01 .01 snapshot, it's changed to 0.0.0, .0 snapshot. Git has two types of tags, lightweight tags that are only pointer to commit and annotated tags that also store extra metadata such as tagger name, email, date and message. If we provide a message when creating a tag, it's automatically annotated tag, which we'll use to create a release 1.0.0. So let's create a release by tagging our commit with tag 1.0.0 and we'll provide a message to make it an annotated tag. If you run our git log, we'll see that our commit is tagged. And if we run our maven validate, we should see a new version calculated by jgit for 1.0.0 that was calculated from the annotated tag. If we display the content of our POM XML, we'll see that the version 001 snapshot is still there. We don't have a remote repository to deploy our project to, but the closest thing we can do is run maven install to see what POM XML will be installed into our local maven repository. Let's see the content of the POM XML maven installed in our local repository to see the version. And it's the 1.0.0 version, the correct version, not the 0.01 .01 snapshot we have in our local project POM XML. Next, let's make a dummy change to simulate working on a new version. And this time we'll add a change. And tag it with a lightweight tag. So without a message. Let's run git log. We have new commit. And if we run maven validate to calculate the version, We'll notice that the JGit from Maven plugin calculates the new version 2.0.0 minus snapshot because we used the lightweight, not the annotated tag. Let's now simulate the bug fixing of our 1.0.0 version. So we'll create a new branch, bug fix one, and it will be based on previous version. We'll simulate the dummy change. We'll add it and commit it. And we'll tag it with a new release. So we'll say tag will be 1.0.1 .1 for the patching. And the message will be release 1.0.1. .1. Let's check the version the JGit for plugin will give us now. And we see it's 1.0.1 .1 version based on tag while also added the branch name to avoid version and naming collisions. Let's check out our master and try to merge the branch, the bug fix branch. And we see the merge went without issues, without naming collisions. If we run maven validate, we'll see that the version states 2.0.0 .0 snapshot as before. And what's important to notice is that the bug fixes from the bug fixes branch were incorporated into the master baseline without any issues. There are differences in version naming conventions between Maven and Gradle, which you can control by using the strategy property with the values of Maven, configurable or pattern. There are other properties which you can configure for JGitware as well, for which you can consult the documentation. I'm pointing out the strategy property because if you are switching between Maven and Gradle projects, this is a property you want to change if you want to have the consistent naming scheme. Let's go to the simple example to show differences in the naming scheme. Supposedly you start with the main branch and have one commit. Maven will have the version of 000 minus snapshot and Gradle 000 minus 0. Once you add additional commit, Gradle will have a version of 000-1, so the number of commits from the baseline version. Placing an annotated tag on commit will make both Gradle and Maven have the version name that's equal to the tag name. 
Once we add additional commit, Maven will have the version that's incremented by the patch and appended by the snapshot. So 1.0.1 minus snapshot. Radio 1.0.1 minus 1, so the number of commits from the annotated tag version. If we create a branch from the commit, in the case of Maven, the branch name will be added to the version name. So 1.0.1 minus branch name minus snapshot. In the case of Radio 1.0.1 minus 2 minus branch name, where 2 is the number of commits from the baseline tagged version. When we add additional commit and tag it with the lightweight tag 1.1.0, in a case of Maven, we get the tag name minus snapshot because it's not annotated, it's lightweight tag. In a case of Grado, it's 1.0.1 minus 2 before the lightweight tag, so patch is increased and we have the number of commits from the baseline version, and after the tag, it's the tag name minus 0. If we add additional commit, in a case of Maven we get 1.1.0, so the lightweight tag minus snapshot, and in a case of Gradle 1.1.0 minus 1. So you see that the default versioning naming scheme is reasonable, but if you need to, you can customize the naming scheme to your heart's content. What you may find to be useful if you are creating Docker images from your applications is to use the version you get from JGitver as a tag for your Docker image as well. JGit project has gained traction and is already used on some large projects, and if you are interested, you can get more information on their official documentation site.